Hi everybody! I invited my friend, who is an incredible spiritual teacher, sage extraordinaire, Todd Savis, to the house. Yay! I'm here! He's here! Todd is incredible. He's unlike anyone I've ever met. I call you Todd the Merlin because there's that. just something magical about you. Like, I really honestly feel like you have magic sprinkled all around you at all times. Secret. It's a secret. We'll find out. We'll find out what that is and <laughs> how you get that. But he has these incredible cards, which you designed these, right? Mm -hmm. You made these. Yeah. So there are no other cards like this in the world. No. Oh my gosh, that is slightly scary. I would never, no, no one would ever give me anything like this in life because the odds that I would lose this are way <laughs> too high. This is the only set in the world. Okay, so for me today, you know, it's 2018. I think 2017 was kind of crap for everybody in their own oh, unique way. Oh, it was way. fantastic for everyone. Everybody had everyone a great was year. Everyone had a fantastic, everyone loved 2017. But it's a new year. I kind of just wanted to know what's happening, what my soul wants me to know, what's on the horizon, mm. what to look out for. Mm. This is like better than a candy shop to me. And I think that that's the best way to approach the cards as well. Instead of wanting to know such specifics, open it up yes. so the universe wants to teach you whatever you need to know. Right. So close your eyes. Take a moment, focus on the question, which is universe or spirit, whoever you want to connect with. So as you know, that could be angels or God. Um, what do I need to know for 2018? And how many do I pick? Uh, I want you to pick five and place okay. them face down. Okay, so we'll go through these chronologically. Okay. Mm -hmm. First card that comes up here is try things differently. This card is the most important card for you to take into the new year because essentially what I was feeling uh, before when we were sitting into this and sitting into your energy for the year mm -hmm. was everything that you've done and has done really well before, don't mm -hmm. expect it to play out exactly the same way in this year. Right. The Spirit wants you to kind of push yourself into new boundaries or out of boundaries, out of boxes. Mm -hmm. And that also means that you kind of need to recontextualize who it is that you are. Mm -hmm. As so you're Jenna, you're, you can present, you can dance, you can do this, you can do this, but also they want you to see what else you can do beyond that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you to actually play around with that concept. Like different career opportunities, like different all within entertainment, entertainment, but it is definitely more of a lifestyle vibe okay. that you're going to start branching into more. Um, cool. But the important thing, especially about this card, is the capacity to give yourself permission to be different from mm -hmm. what everyone expects you to be as well. That makes sense. Uh, the next card that comes up here is the card that we need to watch out for, which is the mm -hmm. player. So mm -hmm. the player represents someone that promises things but then can never follow through, mm -hmm. sometimes because they don't want to, but other times often because they just like, in, they kind of enjoy the game of playing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this card is present here because as you're going to sort of have your star grow and mm -hmm. grow and grow, there are going to be people that get drawn to that energy because they don't really create the energy of their own. So they like to take it from others. Because then we move into the next card, which is Leo. Leos are basically the best sign for anyone that wants to be famous, have the spotlight on them, be seen. Uh, and as we go into the middle, uh, the card after is receiving money. So these two cards let us know that by basically you trying things differently, listening to your intuition, not getting taken astray by people that would try to sell you on snake oil basically. Uh -huh. um, more opportunities open up, especially middle of the year, that leads to more money. And then from that point it feels Sorry, that you're feel really like going to... very good cards at the bottom here. I know, we loaded the deck, you just picked oh. these and it just happened. I'm really excited about these last two. <laughs> uh, and so receiving money, this card especially, uh, there are different types of money cards in here, but this one is kind of like um, the universal principle of it's time for waves of income to come in. Um, and then as we move into the last card here is the love charm. So the love charm... Not to invite some charms and loves in my life. Okay, so focus on the image in your mind. And when you've got it in your mind, I want you to close your eyes. And now I want you to say, I welcome in the love charm. I welcome in the love charm. I want you to see that image going in through your eyes, going into your heart, and then all days are now brighter. Taking a big deep breath in, and exhaling out, letting that feeling stay with you. And open your eyes. Okay, guys. I like that. Thank you so much. I pleasure. hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And I want to tell you, Todd has an incredible Instagram, Todd Savis. So at Todd Savis, you can see it. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Todd and I have a spiritual morning with his amazing magical cards, Todd the Merlin. 
Todd Savas on Instagram, my favorite. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and subscribe and comment below.